Hi YouTube, I'm Ayman, and welcome back to my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the cabin air filter on the 2004 2009 Toyota Prius. So let's start on the right side. We're going to open the passenger side glove compartment. Let it down gently. And on the right side and left side, you'll notice uh, tabs. So you can't see the one on the left side, but on the right side, you can see this jutting out. What you want to do is just push this to the left, let it out gently. And on the right side, uh, on the left side, do the same thing. You also see the same tab. Now, next step is to go to the right of it, and you'll see this hydraulic strut. So, for, we're going to take that out, and to do that, we're just going to nudge it to the right. Not much strength is needed there. Going to let this down gently. Now, you can see these notches right here that hold up the glove compartment, and it's what it, it hinges on. Uh, you don't have to take out the glove box compartment, but it makes it easier. So, the way to do that is you just lift it up gently, and then just take it out. Going to set that aside. And now we can see the air filter. The air filter is right here, and you just take that out by pulling it out. Whew, just look at that. It's dirty, it's black, and there's a ton of dust in it. Uh, do you want to say anything, Ma? My mom likens it to what your, your lungs would look like after you smoke. And I kind of agree with her. So we're going to take this out, and all you have to do is, on the bottom, it has these holes. I made a mistake. Alright, so I made a mistake by flipping this upside down. If you have a filter and it's really dirty, don't flip it upside down. Now, on the bottom, you're going to see that you can just pull out, push out the filter. And it's going to be kept in place by these four tabs. And it's just easy to take it out because it's a paper filter. So, just loop it out. My hands are a bit frozen right now, so it might be a bit hard for me. But... Eventually, you'll get it out, and that is what the dirty air filter looks like. Uh, by the way, here is the new air filter for comparison. So after this, we're going to take out the. So we're going to clean up the tray because the tray is also dirty, and then when we come back, we're going to replace the new air filter and put it back in. All right, so we're back. We cleaned up the tray. Uh, you might have noticed that in the previous clip, I put the new filter on top of the old filter. Uh, word of precaution, don't do that. And also one more thing, I'm probably going to have to clean up my pans and the uh, car floor after this. Probably vacuum it up because this, the air filter, when you take it out, it's going to release a lot of dust. So just make sure that you do that uh, when you replace the air filter. So I'm just going to set this aside on top of the box so no more debris goes anywhere. And we're going to take a look at the tray. Get out our new air filter. Uh, by the way, these new air filters are around seven, eight dollars. They're really cheap. Uh, some more expensive ones will cost you around fifty dollars, but it's just a paper air filter, so you can get them for around seven to eight dollars on Amazon. So first off, to put in the air filter, you're going to notice that there are four smaller tabs that keep the air filter in. So first off, in replacing the new filter, is we're going to make sure that the wider edge. Uh, not this edge, is facing the front. We're just going to uh, slide in past the bigger tabs. So for these ones, you can crimp it in. Uh, it doesn't matter if you damage it, it's a paper air filter. So it's relatively cheap. All right, so now that we have them in, we're going to look at, on, the f on these sides, there's one, two, three, and four uh, smaller tabs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the wider edges under the tabs and eventually you're going to be able to put them in and on this side we're going to flatten this down and then slide them in so you might have to do it from the underside and there we go make sure we're going to flatten this because i'm a perfectionist all right and now we're going to replace the air filter. We're going to put it back in. And you just push it back in. It's real easy. Make sure it's in the right orientation. Make sure it's not upside down. And there we go. It clicks in. And the next step is putting back the glove compartment. So we're going to first put the tabs back on and make sure they're aligned. So we'll push them back in, and then we're going to take our hydraulic strut. Oh, also, let me talk about the hydraulic strut. So if your hydraulic strut falls out, 
the correct position is that this bottom hole will be where it mounts onto this uh, nub right here. Uh, the hydraulic strut is what allows your glove compartment to come down slowly when you open it, so it doesn't like just fall onto your knees. What we're going to do is we're going to raise the glove compartment. We're going to slide it back on. Alright. Then we're going to push these back in so that they can get back into their holes. Alright. Now, just push it back in. Uh, make sure everything's alright. And you're good. So before I end this uh, video off, I just want to mention that I did another video on the importance of why you should replace your air filter. So go check that out. I'll link that down in the description below. Uh, a message to my younger audience, uh, you may not own a car, but if you see this video, you should definitely tell your parents about it because it's very important to make sure that your the air that you breathe in the car is good air because when you get driven to soccer games or to school, you want to make sure that the air that you breathe in is good. And also, one more thing about the uh, air filter. Uh, if you guys notice, it is really bad. And the reason why is because the previous owner, uh, the person we got this car from, uh, was a heavy smoker and he smoked in the car. And this is the reason why they don't allow you to smoke in cars, in, in, uh, in rental cars. Because the air filter will look like this and the air quality will be reduced drastically. So, all in all, just make sure to, uh, to replace your air filter often. All right, so we didn't just replace the, uh, the air filter. We actually cleaned the entire car. So you see on the back seat, uh, we actually cleaned everything up. And uh, just make sure that when you buy a car from a smoker, especially one that you know smokes in cars, just make sure to clean it. Uh, you might want to send it to a dedicated cleaner to make sure everything is good to go so that you can get rid of all the smoke residue, like the secondhand and thirdhand smoke. And you should be good, good to go. Um, all right. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, look at my other videos on I and Ayman, especially the uh, video on how important it is to uh, replace your air filter. And I guess that's it. Signing out. Peace.